Okay guys, I'm back. In today's video, I'm gonna be playing some items. I used to be grinding this game for like, days and hours. Like, I probably played this game in total for a couple of days. Which is like, crazy. Not a couple of days, probably for months, because I've been on this game a while. But, today I'm gonna tell you how I got so much money, and also, also, here's what I'm gonna tell you. I've never seen any mini games in islands, so I made a mini game like like a year back when the electric when the steam generators came out. It's right there, and it's really cool. So hope you enjoy. But anyways, let's get over to the mini game. So I d previously I needed sea lanterns for my base, so. I decided to build this mini game. It's not actually too complex. But so here's basically how it works. So when you drop a steel engine in, it goes through here. This is an I item sorter over here. Here, let me get the last out. So right here is Okay, this is an item sorter. There's a ton of random junk, and then there's a stack of items I want to be sorted. Which in this case, it's sea lanterns. So then it moves, but then, if there's any other item, it'll go over to this chest. As you can see right here. If someone just drops junk, it doesn't clock it, basically, is what I made it, so it does. And I also get all the loot, too, so... Win win. But now I gotta figure out where I place that. There. Great. Um. Yeah, that's not good. Why did I even place a split? Okay. Would have had to be on this block. Um. That's not good. <laughs> I lost where it was, but anyways. I don't know if it'll still... Oh, I just put the spitter there so it gets the coal, but... Oh, there's a gift. I'm gonna mine up my dog. Anyways, so now... We go up to here. So basically what happens is... Once that chest is... Has something that goes through it... There's a little detector... Right in here somewhere. There's like this little like detector there's an item detector right there you see it right here so then the wire is connected to that so it detects after it goes through the sea lantern after it goes through the sorter then it makes its way out to here and then i get the sea lantern so then i can get the sea lantern and then so, and, but then, once it goes through here, it opens this gate for a certain amount of time, which allows some coal to go through th this way into the, the system. So basically, this, it's all dropping into the void over here, so far. But when, when this is powered for a few seconds, the coal has a chance to drop in random amounts going down here. So basically what I made it do there is now it has to go through this massive course, which is not easy to, it doesn't usually make it through. So it's basically a scam, not gonna lie. But, of course I don't tell that, I mean, glass. So, 
this is basically how it works. Now I'll show you an example. So let's get over to the top real quick. Oh great. I'm gonna have to walk all the way back over there. But anyways, so I'll actually play the game right here. Oh, how did I land there? How did I actually land on the left? So let me just get my sea lanterns out. Oh yeah, and I also want to show you guys the kits. So basically, if you make it inside the small chest down there, which I'll show later, then you could, you could get these kits. This one is the fighting kit, which has good things. This one is the flower kit, which has a good start with two, like, rare flowers inside of it. Basic sprinkler and watering can. You get the crop kit, which has berry seeds, onion totems, coal totem, industrial washing station, and all of this. This one is probably the most expensive. And then finally, we have the steel makers kit. It's everything you need to make. Start making steel. So yeah. Now I'll show you how it works. So basically, here we are. So let me just get steel and. Because at that time I needed sea lanterns for my base, but I could just change it to anything I want right here, honestly. So, if I drop sea lantern in, then, as you can see, it detects it. Then, it goes this way for a little, and then, it drops a few pieces of coal. But, the more, the more you do, the better. The more of these you do, okay, it's the daytime, it's a lot easier. But if I do one, two, three, okay. as you can see, what the heck, it got rejected, what? Okay, that was not supposed to happen. As you can see. Where is it going? It should be going in this chest, yeah. But yeah, I think the splitter was actually for something. <laughs> yeah, it goes in there. Okay, so... Why was the splitter even... <laughs> I think it was just for the coal, honestly. So if a coal totem drops, then I think I have to rewire it here. Wire tool. And in this area. Oh, I gotta connect pass. Well, the steam generator wasn't there. That's what it was. Eh? Output. Input. This one. Pass through. Let me fix this. Okay, this is not how this was intent. I was intending to do this right today. I have to use sea lanterns to make a bridge. But well, sea lanterns are actually so expensive. Well, they were. They were like hundred thousand when I made this machine. Okay, it should be good as new now. Anyways, so basically... Now it should work. If it doesn't work, then they probably updated it. Because I did not try this machine before. Okay, I did actually did not try it before. Anyways, here we go. So, get the sea lantern. 
drop in here. Should see it. Yep, there we are. For a split second it dropped. But now let's see what happens if you drop two in there. Perfect. See, it goes for longer. Yeah, that was not intentional, but it actually is a lot better. Because then the rich kids can throw all their sea lanterns away just to get basically scams inside this machine. But anyways, so it drops the coal down here. Then it goes through here, and if it detects through, if it detects through here, then it flashes up the sign that says win on it. But this one, it just has red bear. Is this one someone dropped tons of berries in the machine? Because I, I didn't have the glass on. But anyways, if a coal gets inside of here, then, then that means you won. If the wind sign will flash, and then it'll turn off, so I know that you won. But anyways, okay. Now, I'm gonna go for the win. Guys, guys. I've actually won this game twice. Using my own sea lantern. One, two, three, four, five. Five drop. Five ball. Okay, let's see how they do. Alright, they didn't do well. You can't even find them in here. They make glass so untransparent. But anyways. Yeah, this is my machine. Pretty cool. My. I mean, for me it was pretty cool. Let's see. Now I get what the splitter is for, though. It's not a conveyor splitter here. Let me just fix it. Just gotta fix that. Pretty simple. But anyways, so, uh, this is basically the end of me playing this game. If you want to see me fix it, then you can stay. And I'll explain all the mechanics to you. Splitter. But anyway, so, here we are. This is a splitter. You put it here, one goes into two. Take the wire from here. Take this. Put it in the splitter. Now the splitter's got two outputs. Take this output, put it in here. Then... Take this power, and then we gotta bring it all the way down. To here. Boom. It's fixed. So now, let's just say, you cracked that, the game, and you win. I'm not building out a batch. I'll build out a... But, okay, I have to. Using glass. Here we go. I'll just drop a ton in here. And the, line, and the wind sign says you won. That's basically how it works. So, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure leave a like, subscribe, and I might do a little more Islands content. I mean, I used to play this for so long. And I might make a few more mini games, show off the mechanics a bit, because I've never seen a game like the one I made here. But it might make some super complex farms or mechanics, and you don't want to miss that. So make sure to like, subscribe, and see you next time.